There is a story. All those who watch cricket, follow cricket, or know the game of cricket must have heard of this story. And if not, I'll tell you. Once upon a time. Well, usually that's how the stories start, right? But no, not this one. The stories start that way because people have heard it from somewhere and they pass it on. But this is not the one that is being heard. This is one that the people have seen, and it happened two decades ago. Well, I'm not going the exact timelines because I want to keep it a story. So, this happened some decades ago. A household name of cricket, Master Blaster Sachin Tendulkar, was not amongst the runs. Just don't turn away. He was not amongst the runs. This is a real story. He was fighting for his runs, and he figured out that there was a short and offside, particularly the cover drive, that was putting him in trouble. He has got out to it quite a few times in that series. So in the last test, he walked on the field, where on the night before he has decided not to play a single cover drive. Well, this might sound tricky to some, and easy to some other, to eliminate the confusion. Cover drive and straight drive were the favorite shots of Sachin Tendulkar. It's fair to say now that when he decided not to play a cover drive, he had a tough task in hand. There is one more thing that we have missed here. The series was against the Aussies, and he was playing in Sydney. But that's how the legends are made. They take some task, they spice it on, they take it against the toughest oppositions, and when they do it exactly the way they have planned, we call them legends. That day, Sachin didn't play a cover drive. Even the straight drives were racing to the long gone boundaries instead of going on to the offside boundaries or the straight boundaries. He batted that way for 400 balls and scored a double century. Again, there's not a story, there's a real incident. And people have seen there in their full consciousness. And why I'm calling this a story? Because people have narrated this like a story is being narrated by a granddad to this grandson. At this point of time, you will be wondering that why I am narrating this story right now. Well, I want to draw a comparison. This is not a comparison of a person, neither of the class, neither of the time, nothing of that sort. It is just a comparison of two similar situations and two people who kept a very similar mindset to overcome what they were longing for to do for a long time. Cut to present day. This is again the last test of the series against the mighty Aussies. And once again, the man in the subject has not scored a century for quite a while. He is not out of form. He has batted beautifully on many occasions, but just to match his own standards, he has set for himself the, con- the century is the need of the hour. This time, is the man, or shall we call him the legend of another generation, wants to replicate the same feast of a task that Master Blaster wants to. He walks out, greets the youngster who has just scored a brilliant century and puts her head down. The head that just had one thought to play with all the discipline anyone has ever seen in this game. The thought was to play with all his strength and not to give even a single weak point to be harnessed by the opposition. And the strength that he had was his defense. And well, his leg side came as well. Again, the opposition here is the Aussies and they left no stone unturned to tumble the head of the great man. He was presented with a constant 7-2 feet and a bowling of top quality. But oh dear, you can move a mountain against its will, but you can't move a head of as stable as of a legend without his wishes. After all of this, the man scored classic 186, to be remembered forever. But that's not the point. The point to be noted here is, that he just scored five boundaries till he reached his century. He did reap the rewards of the pressure that he created in the borders, but still, he scored almost 70% of the runs on the leg side. Well, that was the story that happened two decades ago and that has repeated itself again. It repeated itself, but again, there has been no comparison. It was just a form of sheer character and the willpower that was being shown in both the stories. And that story has repeated to let us witness the 75th century of the best cricketer of the generation, Virat Kohli.